It's a lot like a battle, Jesus says. We have a real enemy, there's a real war, there's real conflict, there are real casualties, there are real quitters. Don't be one of them. I was in Turkey last year and was studying the topography and geography and history of the region in preparation for a trip we're doing and some books of the Bible we'll get into in the ensuing years. And I got captivated with one area it's in the Bible, it's actually called Galatians. I wanted to know how did the Galatians hold their ground for so many generations? They're in an indefensible plain. They have no natural fortification, but they held their ground. How did they do it? And the archeologist and the historian and professor was with us, he said, well, they fought differently than most. He said, when they would go to battle, they would bring their wives and children with them. And the soldiers would kiss their wife and kiss their sons and kiss their daughters and say, okay, daddy's gonna go to war with those guys. And if daddy loses, you're gonna change your last name. You girls are gonna be marrying their sons and wife, I fear what they're gonna do to you. And then he would go to war. And if he won, he got to take his family home. And if he lost, somebody else took his family home and did whatever they wanted. And those guys didn't lose a battle for hundreds of years. Because you fight differently when you fight for someone you love and a kingdom you belong to. You just fight differently. And our, our stupid replacement of this is really video games. And I was thinking about it today, since I'm in that mood, Video games are not sinful, they're just stupid. <laughs> and they're stupid in this way. They're young, particularly men, and now women are joining it. They want to get on a team, be part of a kingdom, conquer a foe, and win a great epic battle. So they do it with their thumbs. <laughs> and it doesn't even count. Nobody's really liberated. The Taliban is not really conquered. Women are not really freed from oppression. Generations are not really changed. It's all fake. It doesn't count. You wanna do something? Get off the couch, unplug the electronics, give your life to Jesus, find some other guys, and do something that actually matters. Leave a legacy for women, children, generations, not just the highest score on some stupid game. Now, it's amazing. A whole world filled with guys who want to be on a team, go to a war, defeat an enemy, and save a princess. That's the story of this book. And if you want to be part of that kingdom, you got to get off the couch and follow that king. And you do not quit. You fight differently when you fight for ones you love, a kingdom, and a king. Some great Battle leaders, they would historically have their men row to the shore of a place they wanted to investigate and conquer. And then the good generals would light the boats on fire. There's two options, men, forward or death. That has to be the attitude that we have. That has to be the attitude we have. Because the default mode of the human heart is selfishness, laziness, quitting. And some of you are here and you've already quit. Don't. And some of you would want to say you're a Christian and not see it through to completion. And let me just say this, all of the slots for hypocrite are already filled. All of those positions are filled. We're not lacking hypocrites. We're lacking disciples. 